and a very good day to all my viewers out there. It is right now Thursday, April 27th, 2023, 12.44 p.m. Eastern, and it's time for a walking video. Here in downtown Montreal, this is René Levesque Street. We're starting our walk on the corner of Drummond, which is this street right here. I was just walking from this direction, which is facing north. There's Mount Royal, and I uh, got fire truck 225 responding did a video of that and like I said we're gonna be walking here on René Levesque for about maybe 15 20 minutes and just so you all know out there I know that it really matters but uh, yeah I'm just getting over another bout of COVID-19 my second infection my first one was last July 2022 and this one, well, my symptoms started this past weekend on, on Saturday. Uh, well, Friday into Saturday. So we're now Thursday. And uh, at first I thought it was allergies, but then I did a test a couple of days, a couple of days ago. Came out positive, but honestly, it's just like last time. Feels like a, a cold. And, uh, you know, I did my five days more or less of trying to isolate missed a couple of days of work wanted to take a day you know another day off today but forced myself to go in um, I definitely feel better probably by Monday I should be 100% but uh, you know it's the thing I don't understand and I just want to point something out here looks like they're putting a sign up you know, we, we pay into, uh, what is it, employment insurance. You know, every every pay they take off a certain percent of of your your paycheck and they put it towards employment insurance. You should be able to tap into that for sick days. You know, whether it's a couple of sick days here and there, you should be entitled to that. Now, I understand there may be people that may take advantage of that, but, you know, figure out a system because it's ridiculous that you have to decide between going into work sick and even if you take precautions potentially infecting others or missing a, a big chunk of pay you know so thankfully you know it was only two days I missed but you know I had to jiggle I'm gonna have to juggle around a couple of finances to make up for those two days lost but you know I'm, I'm just saying it should be that you know you're paying into employment insurance you should be entitled to use it for sick days and uh, that's just my opinion so for employment insurance it's only if you have like I guess a long-term illness long-term sickness like if you miss a week or two weeks or more or if you lose your job if you're laid off fired if there's uh, I don't know if there's like a strike or something but yeah that's pretty much what that's for but yeah, they definitely should have something for, you know, for sick days. And I know they were talking about this during the early days of the pandemic. That the government was going to introduce legislation to give everybody a minimum amount of sick days paid per, per year. So we'll see if that takes traction. There's a hybrid bus. But yeah, you know, it's just frustrating, especially, you know, for people that, like me, are not very well off and you know it does affect you if you miss some sick days so just wanted to point that out it would be nice to to have some control you know because you don't want to go to work sick but at the same time you you know you don't want to lose money so anyways so uh these are some newer buildings that have been built here oh there's a canine unit so we're walking, like I said, in the west direction right now. We're walking west here on René Levesque. Maybe we'll go up to St. Matthew Street. There's uh, Bishop, Bishop Street. And the other thing too, you know, about this COVID thing right now, as I said, this seems like just like last time where I had uh, more or less cold symptoms stuffed nose a bit of a sore throat headache 
but uh, not as hard as I think the first time I got it. And the other thing too is I, I have five vaccines. I've stayed up to date on my vaccines, but I guess because it's a virus, it evolves and mutates and the defenses that are in, in place in your body, whether it's vaccines or immunity from the last infection, I guess only does a certain amount and it weans off or wears off after a while. So it is what it is. We just have to, to learn to, to live with it, take precautions. But uh, on top of it, it is allergy season as well. So if you're a seasonal allergy sufferer like me, then you might know what I'm talking about. You know, the itchy eyes, watery eyes, runny nose, also sneezing, sore throat. Oh, uh, there's a Mack truck, cool. So, you know, if you have seasonal allergies, sometimes it's hard to tell whether it's allergies, a cold, coronavirus, a flu. Of course, a flu is much more draining and hits you harder than allergies or a cold. But Just saying, because it's that time of year, sometimes it's hard to tell the, the difference because of the symptoms. And really, if I hadn't even tested myself, I probably wouldn't have even known I had it, you know? But, uh, there's this hybrid bus from the year 2019. Here's a cool piece of architecture. I think this was a hotel at one point. Not sure what it is now. You have this kind of like a merry-go-round shape, carousel shape. So here's Guy, Ru Guy or Ru Guy. See if we can see anything in the distance here. So these orange cones, by the way, they're talking about getting rid of them because they're becoming so annoying that the government transport minister and all that, they want to get rid of the orange cones if they're not being used within 72 hours or something. Yeah, that's looking south, by the way. And you can see slowly but surely we have leaves coming on the trees, vegetation coming on the trees, finally, after what seems like a long winter. Still branches on the ground from that ice storm yeah, a couple of weeks ago. Most of it's cleaned up. As you can see, we got, I guess, variable cloudiness today. Mostly cloudy, but a couple of holes in the clouds. Some blue sky. walk up another couple of blocks and we'll turn uh, turn right and head north and uh, continue our walking video <laughs> yeah you can see in here this used to be a monastery, I think, or a residence for nuns or priests or something. Not sure what it is now, but look at that. There's some branches there. Some very old trees here. I hear something coming. See what it is in a moment. And as always, there's construction going on everywhere. Just an ambulance coming. Got some tree branches down here. Yeah, these trees are pretty old. You could tell just by looking at them. So we're making our way close to Atwater now. That ambulance must have turned. 
So this here is St. Matthew Street, and we're going to be turning right here, so... Temperature right now is about maybe 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 degrees. Probably closer to 10 degrees. That's, of course, Celsius. A lot of night buses come here. Interesting, at this stop, you have four night buses, one express bus, and one regular service bus. And by the way, they announced yesterday that, as expected, July 1st, transit fares are going up about 3%. Um, for Montreal, regular bus pass, I think it's $94 right now. It's going up to 97 So... It is what it is. So what we'll do is we'll walk up to maybe the Maisonneuve. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll get lucky and get a response at Station 10. And you can see some sparrows, urban wildlife here in Montreal. There's an old bell tower up there too, you can see. There's the 165 Côte de Neige. It's gonna turn around on René Levesque where we just were and go back up to, to Guy Street. And, uh, you know, to be honest, I don't really have much appetite today either. I'm not, it's lunchtime right now, but I'm not, I'm not really hungry. Some nice pine needles here. Look at these uh, baby pine cones here. If you look carefully. Yeah, urban nature, you know, that's what it is. And uh, over here, you can see we got some old buildings, old homes, old houses. I'll give you a nice close up of these leaves budding. And once they start budding, it doesn't take long for them to officially come to full size. Uh, the only problem is right now in Quebec, Montreal, we have, and I mentioned this for the last few years, we have an issue with uh, the trees, specifically the ash trees. You'll see there's unfortunately a lot of them that are dead or sick. This is because we have, it's the ember ash beetle, I believe it's called, or the ember ash borer beetle. It's a uh, it's a small beetle that basically infects mostly ash trees, but also I think it infects other trees as well, or at least some kind of parasite affects them. And you can tell a tree's dead, well, because it doesn't bloom. They don't have buds on it. Or there might be certain spots of the tree that have buds. By the way, there's a Concordia University Nova bus right there. I'm not sure if it's an XSTM bus or their own that they bought directly from Nova bus maybe it's used there's the 66 route the boulevard that's actually the name of the street the boulevard so we'll cross over here and uh, you can tell very old buildings here very old apartment units complexes got a nice little mural here a lot of these murals are popping up over the city over the last few years, which I guess, you know, kind of beautifies the city. Makes it look nice. I like this nice design on the, the balcony here, the glass. It's like a stained glass window. All right, so we're coming up here now to St. Catherine Street. Another thing, a lot of electric car charging stations popping up as well. So we're almost 15 minutes into the video. Record another five minutes, I guess. Check our time. It's right now uh, not exactly 12.59 p.m. Oh, sorry, 12.59, 12.59 p.m., not a.m. If it was 12.59 a.m. it'd be dark out, it'd be almost 1 a.m. in the morning. It's 12.59 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we'll stay on this side. I'll walk up some more. 
So here's arguably the busiest, at least for sure, one of the busiest streets in the city, St. Catherine Street. There's the Concordia University main campus. And we'll wait for our light to change here. And I'll wrap up the video at uh, the Maisonneuve. And I'll be back to my regular Wednesday walk videos coming up. Maybe this will even be my next Wednesday walk video. here yeah, you can see some blue sky slowly coming out I don't know if that's the old Concordia old Concordia University logo looks like the old logo for Concordia hmm. and we have this big monster apartment complex here One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen floors plus the bottom. It's about twenty floors. Twenty floors high. Twenty stories. Talk about this one right here. And there's uh, fire station ten. Looks like it's full. It's like ladder truck and pumper truck are both there. All right, here's the Maisonneuve. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit lightheaded, dizzy, probably. Oh, we actually have the pumper truck on, I think. Yeah, so uh, probably that's the virus still affecting me. So I'm gonna wrap her up here. Oh, there's uh, truck 210 there. Well, we'll wrap her up by getting a view of 210 coming back. Returning the station. Wait for the light to cross to change here. And by the way, this here is uh, the Maison of Boulevard. So you have this beautiful bike path here, all season, all year round. All right, so I'm gonna wrap her up here, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, as always, more videos to come. Remember, if you like what you see, hit subscribe, hit the like button. Turn on your notifications to stay up to date on all of my content. And uh, see you all soon. Have a good day, everybody.